This video is about student attendance and how to submit it. Uh, we know we've had a share, our share of issues in getting this done, so hopefully we have most of this figured out. All right, again, we're going to be using uh, one of our fantastic students. Thank you so much for offering us that option. Um, and we're going to be looking at an actual live student uh, entry page. We're here with Mrs. Dubay because she's had to handle so many of your questions, and I wanted her here just to kind of uh, help see what's going on so she can help all of us get through these uh, these steps. Okay, let's get right into it. So once you log into your page, um, you put in, you went to app.strongmind.com, you must use that website, app.strongmind.com, in order to get in. If you don't use that, you're on the wrong site. So once you go into app.strongmind.com, this page will show up. Your name will be here, and it'll also be at the top right-hand corner. You'll see attendance, which you can't see, but it's at the right hand, left-hand side top. There'll be a calendar, and this will be your coursework. And at the bottom right will be a, a little tag that said dashboard. So we would come over here and just click on this calendar right here. And we would go into your course. This is what it would look like once we clicked on this. Okay? This has all the hours you put in. A quick reminder, you cannot enter time that you have not had yet. So you can't put it in Tuesday until Tuesday's over. You can't put in Monday till Monday's over. You must be done with the day. We're going to start doing this with you on uh, in a homeroom, so to make sure it gets done from the day before. And the process is the student enters the time and the parent confirms it. That's not the word I'm looking for, though. But the, the parent confirms that time, right? Uh, approves it. That's the word I'm looking for. The parent approves the time. All right, let's enter time for the student. I put in this one just a few minutes ago uh, for the student, and we're going to do another one because Tuesday's over. Here's the time you want to put in. You spend four hours each morning with your, on Monday through Thursday with your teacher. All those four hours should be put in. You spend time with social studies of your middle school. On Mondays, it's social studies in English. You would put two hours for social studies and two hours for English, right? I know there's a blend of time in there, but that's the easiest, cleanest way to do it. Put two hours for social studies, two hours for English. If you're on a science and math day, put two hours for science and two hours with English. And then in the afternoon, you will put in one hour in, if it was English and social studies you had in the morning, then and you would put in the afternoon one hour for science and one hour for math. That's what time you should be putting in. If you don't put that time in, if you don't do that work, you certainly should not enter it. But our expectation is that you get on those classes for one hour each day, okay, in the afternoon. All right, so let's put that in and see what it looks like. We come over here, we click the down arrow. You see things pop up. So uh, this student is a high school student, so on Monday they had science and math. So on Tuesday, they're having social studies. He finished his work. We go in here. We put our two hours in for world history. And then we find English, another two hours. In the afternoon, the student worked on one hour of science and one hour of algebra. And we are done. That is the time that we did. That is six hours. That is the day we expect you to put in each day. If you don't, you're not putting in the right amount of time. Even if you're up to date on your uh, on your calendar for your class, even if things are you're at your your syllabus looks good, then we still expect you to spend an hour in that class each day. Okay? If you need more, that's fine, but we shouldn't be doing less. And then I would come up here to the top. You can't see it, but I would go to the refresh button, and there isn't a submit button. I don't exactly know why, but there isn't a submit button. I actually went up and just clicked refresh on your screen, and then. Ideally, this is going to say 12 hours, and it does. Six hours for Monday, six hours for Tuesday, and then the parent would go in and uh, approve those hours. Okay? All right, that's the tutorial. Um, Marcy says thumbs up. Can we get another thumbs up, Marcy? Thank you so much for being so awesome, and thank you for joining us on this video. Thank you, anybody. Send any questions if you have them. Bye-bye.